Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I record podcasts over Zoom. So I'm sure you can figure out how to download and open Zoom from their website, but once that you have Zoom open, what I like to do is create a new meeting, and then in this new meeting, you can connect with your audio and, and webcam, whatever you have. So I'll just click join with computer audio. Now I happen to be using a nice microphone and I happen to be, I happen to have these headphones and everything, but you don't have to have all this stuff. If I just go to zoom preferences, here's where I can choose in the settings, which microphone and which speaker to have. So if you just have a, a pair of headphones like that you plug into your laptop, that'll work fine. Uh, you can use as as the microphone and then you can choose a speaker as well. Uh, you just want to make sure that your headphones would probably be recommended so that you're not having the audio coming out into the room and then echoing into the microphone. Now, if you do or if you are interested in how I'm using this whole um, XLR to USB system, I have a separate video on my channel about my specific audio gear. But again, it's not necessary as long as you have a microphone. I don't really touch any of these other settings, um, such as background noise and whatever, because I have that all kind of set. But the other thing you can check is the video. So the way that I'm, I'm using an actual camcorder as my webcam, and the way I'm doing that is with something, a little kind of USB plugin called the Elgato Cam Link. Again, you don't need that either. You can just use the built-in webcam on your laptop or computer if you want. Um, so keep that in mind. But you have a couple other options here, like mirroring the video or just little touch-ups and things. Another quick trick I have, if you do have a nice desktop in front of you, is just to make your background a pure white. So if I set desk, I have this little white screenshot, but if you just make your background pure white, it kind of is a little nice trick to act as a light. So I use that trick sometimes as a quick lighting, especially if you're in a room where the window or the natural light isn't there or you don't have a ring light or whatever. But again, that's not necessarily the best lighting in the world, but just a little trick of an idea for you. The other thing you have is the recording section. So this is where you can actually choose where your recording goes. So mine just goes in the Zoom documents folder. And what I like to do is check this record separate audio file for each participant so that when you get the final thing, you have your audio on one track and the speaker's audio on the other. It helps if you need to adjust things. It also helps if you're recording your audio separately and you want to sync it up after. It's just a nice check to have on so you get two different files. I also check optimize for third party editor because I do take them out of Zoom and edit, which I'll show you. And if you are doing screen sharing stuff, you can choose to record the video during the screen sharing or place it next to the screen sharing. I'm not really doing, I'm just recording the webcam parts when, when I'm doing a podcast and you probably will too. You also have the option, you know, for backgrounds and filters and stuff if you want. I don't really love the look of these. If you're doing an interview, it can look maybe cheesy or distracting. Um, I usually just set up a, a, a black screen or, or a photo backdrop behind me or just leave it in the natural light, whatever you have your setting up, but that's up to your aesthetic choice on how you want your studio or background to look. But the main important things are just keeping your microphone good, having your headphones in, and also your recording section, making sure you're sending it to the, a place you have the right amount of hard drive space and your recorded in separate and optimized files. So once you do that, um, if you click on this little button here, participants, you can click the invite button and here is where you can copy the invite link. It'll copy to your clipboard and then I will just open up my email or whatever and paste that link and send it to whoever I want to Zoom with and say, hey, Zoom meeting started, here it is, um, and they can join it. And this is what that would look like when you paste it. And once they're in, so I'll just join my own meeting, and you'll see it'll say, you know, guest, whatever their name is, entered the waiting room. You can choose to admit them. And then once they're in, you'll see it splits into your video and their video. And at any point during this, you just want to make sure you click the record button. So if I click the record button, you'll see it in the top left corner. It says recording. And 
it will be. So you just want to make sure there's no echo, as you can see. But it will begin recording. You do want to make sure you have the view here. I like setting it to gallery. If you set it to speaker, then um, when you re your recording might look a little different, it'll switch from one to the other. But if you keep it in gallery mode and just kind of stretch your window out like this, it'll just keep you know you on the right, you on the left, which I, I kind of like that style for the zoom interviews. You could just have both screens side by side, works nicely. And at this point too, you can choose if for every, any way that you want, if like if you want to set up a camera or set up your own microphone or even record audio on like your voice notes or something, a third party way outside of Zoom, if you want to record, you can also do that for backup. Me personally, I record my audio through a program called ScreenFlow. I also have a full tutorial on ScreenFlow. This is a Mac only screen recording program, but Again, you don't need you don't need to do that. You can get the audio straight out of Zoom and it sounds pretty good. I only do this because I happen to have all the equipment because this is my job and uh, I can get a little bit of bump up on the quality by recording it outside of Zoom. But once you're done, you basically can stop recording. So you can hit the stop button and once you end the call, you actually have to end the call. It will begin to generate the recording that you just created and it'll end up in that Zoom folder that you used. And in that Zoom folder, you'll have your video, which will be here, and then you have your audio. So you'll have both sides, the guest and yours. And now what I like to do is take it into my video editing program, which is Premiere Pro. Now, if you wanted, if you're not super sophisticated on all the editing programs, this file right here is good enough to upload onto YouTube or Facebook or whatever. And you can see it has the videos and the audio side by side. You can just directly upload that. For me, I do take it into Premiere Pro and I'll show you my recent episode and what that looks like in the timeline. So. For me, I take it in to Premiere and I essentially just, I put the, my video on the left. I just might like my video on the left. And then I put the guests video on the right. I add these little overlays in Photoshop. Like I make this, the name tag and the border and I have my little podcast logo and whatever else information I want. And what I do is I just sync up my audio that I record separately, or if they sent me a separate audio, I synchronize that with the Zoom audio. You can just right click, synchronize tracks. It'll sync those tracks. And then here you can also adjust the levels. Uh, you can adjust the size, but this is basically just a 1920 by 1080 sequence that I've created because I believe when it comes out of Zoom, it's only 720p sometimes. So. I just bring it into this 1920 by 780 sequence. I upscale it a little bit so it's a little bigger, but you can't really tell it's webcam quality anyway. And I mean, most importantly, people care more about the audio sounding good than the video. But essentially I do that. I cut out any pieces that I, maybe we messed up or a phone rang or something happened and uh, I can add in whatever else I want if I am editing, but all I do is just put it in this kind of nicer graphic template. And then I just export it from Premiere. So file, export media. Here I just use YouTube 1080p preset. And there you go. If I, and also if I wanted to export any snippets, I can just, you know, snip it out, maybe one nice highlight and then export just that little snippet for Instagram or a clip or a highlight and there's all kind of things you can do in this way. So an additional step of bringing it into a video editor allows you that flexibility of adding graphics and animations and cutting it up a little bit better rather than just the raw file. But again, the raw file works fine. From there, I also take the audio and rip it out of this final video in Adobe Audition so that I can upload it to places like Spotify and Apple podcast. I do have a full tutorial on that workflow separately on my channel if you're interested, but that is essentially it. I also like to timestamp my podcast. So 
I'll go through in Premiere and uh, I'll just write out in a notes app or in the YouTube description, you know, zero, zero, zero intro, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds, um, Instagram tips. Because on YouTube, uh, you can actually see the little segments into chapters that it does. So that all I literally had to do for that is put the timestamps in the description and it creates these chapters and it's a nice way for people to kind of get the clip they want or it just is, I think it just helps make it look nicer when you're watching. So if you want, you can check out what this all sounds and looks like on my channel or just on Spotify at the Just Snow D Show podcast where I interview creatives, photographers, videographers, um, entrepreneurship, social media, all that stuff. But hopefully this helped you somewhat on my process for recording podcasts. This is just what works for me. I'm not an audio engineer. I'm not an expert, but this has helped work for me during this kind of uh, lockdown phase where it's not so easy to travel as much. And I've been doing a lot of these calls over Zoom. And honestly, it's, it's nice to just be able to record with anyone around the world and get pretty decent quality. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me at Justin Odisha or shoot me an email. Uh, I'd love to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.